parallelogram we know that uh, parallelogram is a special type of quadrilateral uh, rhombus kite trapezium square rectangle all are special type of quadrilateral and let us see what is parallelogram a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel to each other opposite sides are parallel to each other what is the property for the parallelogram first opposite side of parallelogram is equal that means ab is equals to dc ab is parallel to dc same for ad and bc opposite angle of a parallelogram is equal angle c is equals to angle a angle b is equals to angle d diagonal of a parallelogram bisect each other ac and bd are the diagonal of parallelogram abcd and they bisect each other that means od is equals to ob and oa is equals to oc adjacent angle in a parallelogram are supplementary adjacent matlab d and c are adjacent to each other that means c plus d is equals to 180 and a plus b is equals to 180 find x y z in a parallelogram now that is a parallelogram this side is parallel to this so both are corresponding angle so z is equals to 80 why because it is a corresponding angle now x plus 80 is equals to 180 due to the property adjacent angle in a parallelogram are supplementary so the sum of these two angle is 180 so x is equals to 180 minus 80 so you got 100 now why opposite angle in a parallelogram is equal so y is equals to 80 the measure of two adjacent angle of a parallelogram are in ratio 3 ratio 2 find the measure of each of the angle of a parallelogram let two adjacent angle be 3x and 2x because they are in ratio 3 ratio 2 so we take common quantity as x so angle we suppose 3x and 2x summation of 3x and 2x is equals to 180 because they are supplementary or we know that uh, supplementary angle in a parallelogram Uh, the summation of supplementary angle or in a parallelogram is 180 so 3 plus 2 5x 5x is equals to 180 x is equals to 180 divided by 5 so we get 36 so x is equals to 36 so one angle is 3x and another one is 2x so 3x 3x 3 multiply by 36 we get 1 not 8 and 2x 2 multiplied by 36 we get 72 so in this manner we can solve uh, questions based on parallelogram we just need to remember what are what are the properties for a parallelogram now one more question we see find x y z in a parallelogram h o p e is a parallelogram right and these angles 70 40 is given z y and x we need to find p h e p h e is equals to h p o both are alternate angle because in parallelogram opposite side are parallel to each other so both are alternate and alternate angle are equal so y is equals to 40 alternate angle now e h o e 
एच ओ इज इक्वल टू एंगल ओ बिकॉज बोथ आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल सो फोर्टी प्लस जेड इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी बिकॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ ई एच ओ इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी प्लस जेड सो फोर्टी प्लस जेड इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी देन सेवेंटी इज इक्वल टू वो जेड इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी माइनस फोर्टी सो वी गेट थर्टी नाउ पी ई एच एंड समेशन ऑफ E H O is equals to 180 because both are supplementary angle adjacent, eh? Na so both are supplementary to each other. And the value of angle H is equals to 70. So x plus 70 is equals to 180. X is equals to 180 minus 70. So you got 110. Find x and y in given parallelogram. That is a parallelogram R U N S. R N and S U are the diagonal of a parallelogram. Now, y plus seven is equals to twenty because diagonal of a parallelogram bisect each other. So that is a point where they are bisect to each other. So this part must equals to this part. So y plus seven is equals to 20. Then y is equals to 20 minus 7, so you got 13. And x plus y is equals to 16. Same process will followed. Then y is equals to 13. We put 13. X plus 13 is equals to 16. X is equals to 16 minus 13. We get 3. So in this manner, you can solve more and more question based on. parallelogram